It's finally happening. We are going to finally see Halo Infinite campaign gameplay after all the changes, after all the hype, we get to see what they have adjusted, what they have worked on, and I can't wait. It's happening very soon, so hopefully you watch this video before it's up. Thank you so much for watching. Before I get into it, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit that bell to know when these videos go live. I'm trying to do live switching on them now. Uh, thank you so much for watching. As you can see, the subscribe stuff works great already. Uh, so real quick, if we go right into it, they tweeted out very, very uh, late in the day today that Halo Infinite is going to be showing off the campaign. Prepare to battle against the Banished. Join us at 6 a.m. PT Monday, October 25th for a special Halo Infinite campaign gameplay overview. And then they link out to the YouTube channel where you can see that there's already 1,665 people waiting. I'm recording this at 12.50 at night. And we actually have a few more details. If we scroll down here, oh my goodness, look at the description. There's actually a few more uh, interesting things happening in the description here. It says, the Banished have defeated UNSC forces and taking control of the mysterious Zeta Halo threatening the survival of humankind. When all hope is lost and humanity's fate hangs in the balance, the Master Chief returns to confront the most ruthless foe he's ever faced. Here's a fresh look at the Halo Infinite campaign that introduces players to true Spartan freedom in the biggest, most wide open and adventure filled Halo experience yet launching December 8th, 2021. And then, of course, we can uh, find more info over at xbox.com slash Halo Infinite. Let's just see if they, they've they updated the website real quick. No, so it's just like pre-order. It's coming out December 8th. They still have all the screenshots and everything that they've revealed thus far to date. And uh, yeah, it's a really cool website, interactive and all that. But real quick, a few of the, the more negative things, in case you forgot. So... We know it's launching December 8th. We know that multiplayer is going to be free. Those are both great things. Some of the stuff that hasn't been so positively received include uh, no co-op at launch. That's likely going to come three months after launch. And that, that means you're not going to be able to play with the campaign with anybody, period. So your first playthrough is going to be solo, whether you were hoping to do that that way or not. Next up, uh, no forge at launch. That is likely six months out. Of course, uh, you know, uh, <laughs> Forge, maybe not as big of a deal, but for me, I, I really like Forge because it allows the community to get in there and start making cool multiplayer stuff. And then uh, the last one was post-launch ray tracing will be coming. That's something we've known about for quite a while and we are really, really excited about. Now I'm going to show the trailers of things that we've seen thus far. And um, just remember that uh, when this launched, we were just showing basically a, a game engine demo of the game. And one of the cool things about this trailer, as I go over it again here in real time, was basically uh, just how impressive the engine is. Like, it's certainly capable of amazing things. So to see this as the teaser trailer, and then later for it to launch and be somewhat overwhelming. Like I remember people went nuts about the the text there. Uh, there's a radio coming up that's actually transmitting Morse code. That was really, really interesting. And this had me more hyped than ever to play Halo Infinite again. But if you remember, the, the big thing for me was at the end, uh, Chief is wearing an older set of Mjolnir armor. I said that word wrong, but you get it. And there was a little tease to the fact that this is technically Halo 6, one of the rings when uh, the, the Marines or whatever, the ODST, are walking through them, uh, allude to the fact that this is the, the sixth entry into the series. And we're going to see that here in just a second. So here are the Marines. They pop the smoke. They walk up. There is the T's to the number six because it's broken. And then we get a look at Master Chief and he's wearing the old armor. And for a lot of people, this was really important because what this means is this is a, a new take. Something has happened where Chief doesn't have the latest and greatest Molnir armor. He is 
it's going to be different. It's it just sets the tone right off the bat with that one image. And I remember losing my mind about this. And it's just so exciting when you start talking about the potential of the series and the potential of where it could be going. So after that, uh, we started to learn some more details about it. Like uh, now we know that uh, the next trailer is going to introduce the pilot. We know this is all powered in the slip space engine. And of course, oh, a very important scene, actually. I'll just, uh, it popped up here when I was transitioning out. Uh, Chief is popping in a chip into the back of his head. And I don't believe there's an AI in it in this shot. It doesn't look like there is. I remember that being a big deal when this came out. But um, maybe there is. And now we know it is the, the new Cortana, at least, or the new weapon as, as we know them today. And then we, we've we had a few other reveals since then. We had the Discover Hope trailer, you might remember. And that's where we were first introduced to the pilot. So the pilot, we're just introduced to this random character. He looks so different now, by the way. This is the first time we see him. And this could be earlier in the game because it looks like he ends up growing a beer because they're lost in space for quite a while. And... Chief is adrift. The pilot finds him. The pilot somehow figures out a way to get his Mjolnir armor up and going. And then the two hit it off. And we get another tease sort of about what we're going to expect from this game. A few other details about the game. Uh, campaign is said to run up to 120 frames per second. And, uh, you know, fans, fans are really excited. After getting to play the multiplayer version of the game, people have been really, really excited about the potential of what this all means. So I'm fast forwarding into the trailer here. So he finds chief, he boots him up. And then uh, if you'll remember, there's sort of a drifted space or something weird happens. And then chief goes out to fight. The next trailer uh, picks up basically where this one ends. And I'm just sort of recapping everything we've seen this far um, where we actually get to see our first look at gameplay, and uh, this was a this was a brutal blow for the the whole Halo Infinite campaign or any Halo Infinite fan because we see it, and all that everybody took away from this reveal was basically Craig, the Craig meme, and a lot of stuff looked really flat. A lot of stuff didn't really look it didn't look how we expected, and this came out closer to when the game was supposed to launch. This game was supposed to launch a year ago. And because of the, the response to this, the team at 343 and Microsoft said, hey, you know what? We're going to delay Halo Infinite one year to allow more time to finish the game. And after saying that campaign would launch with co-op, we're going to launch with co-op, they delay co-op, they have to delay Forge. And I just can't even imagine what Staten walked in there to once all this happened. It was it had to be something had to have happened. And if I just skip ahead here, we can go right to the, the Craig meme. Basically, I'm sure you remember it. It's right here on this bridge. And as you can see, there's already been drastic improvements to the engine, even in, in, in the time that they've had this far. And I hope they continue polishing right up to to launch. I think this game is going to get a lot of post launch support just because I mean, it's Halo. Now, the gunplay, the gameplay we know is awesome, but Honestly, yeah, the, the, graphically, it was uh, not what anybody was really expecting. So here comes Craig, Eumelium. It's literally a frame. And people saw it and they were just like, what was that? <laughs> it's more than one frame. It's it's definitely noticeable. And then we're also introduced, of course, to the Banish near the end with uh, with this character sort of recapping everything his, he's been through and his hatred for Master Chief, et cetera, et cetera. And that was it. They went really quiet after this because the response was quite negative. Now, like I like graphics as much as the next person, but on the one hand, I'm glad they delayed it. On the other hand, I feel like it was more than just the response to this trailer that would have caused them to delay it. There had to be significant hurdles beyond the response to this that made the team stop and say, you know what? We should delay we should delay we should delay halo infinite right 
So let's go to the final. The final asset was basically um, it wasn't even a, a standalone asset. It was just basically uh, part of one of the Microsoft conferences where we got to see a brief look at the campaign. And this, oh, thank you, YouTube ads. This had me more excited than anything I had seen to this point because in this moment, Chief jumps out of the ship. There's just wreckage everywhere. And he has this moment, and I've talked about it a lot on the channel, where he stops, he grabs a gun, he looks at it, and there's a lot of moat. It's, it has to be difficult to animate in a way where you express emotion. Like he pauses and stares just a little bit longer at that Marine. Like he's still doing a cool Master Chief stuff, right? But it's those moments where he just lingers a second longer to think about everything that has happened to him and the people that he let down. And I think it's weighing on Chief. To me, this said a lot about where he's going in and all the textures look like much, much better. This was to give us a glimpse and just say, Hey, we've been working on stuff. Here's what we've done this far. We have more to come soon. And it's going to be arriving at 6 AM. It's going to be arriving in hours after this is recorded. So he floats along. And then of course we're introduced to the new Cortana later on in this trailer. Uh, and that's sort of where it's been left out. So we, we have new Cortana, we know something really bad went down. We don't quite know what happened with the old Cortana. It it doesn't seem really clear, but uh, if we're to believe what happens in this scene, she's been deleted, she's been erased, but it, it just seems sort of ambiguous to me. And then what was the other thing? Oh, so the pilot, the new Cortana, and the banished. And that's sort of where we left everything off, right? And we're about to see more campaign footage any minute now, and I'm very excited. Hey, so um, real quick, just thank you so much for watching. I'm really, really excited to see this new trailer. I'll probably post my reaction, my personal reaction to it uh, as a follow-up to this video uh, shortly after it is revealed, seeing it's happening at 6 a.m. I should probably get some sleep, but uh, thank you so much for watching. Hey, if you like these sort of videos, please hit that subscribe button, hit that bell to know when they go live. And of course, uh, thank you to the members. Memberships are turned on. They're a thing on YouTube. Just click that join button and I am live editing this. So hopefully that will save me some, give me some more sleep time. I hope you, I hope you like the adjustment to the format. I know I like it because I actually get more rest hopefully in the evening. Thank you so much for watching everybody. I'm going to get out of here and I'll see you for the next one. Bye for now.